Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday, and it's two-year eternity time, so really, really sad, really emotional, really strong first episode uh, from two-year eternity. Uh, you know, really touched me, and 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 I really liked how it 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 was. You know, it, it feels like, it felt like a very standalone, it felt like a very complete first episode too. You know, we had the beginning and we had the conclusion of this boy character, right, already. Uh, the orb that is now morphed into the boy is moving forward. I really like how the first episode, it felt very self-contained. That's the word I was looking for. Very, very self-contained and I really like that. You know, it it, it, it established this, this uh, you know, a, a bit about this world, more of about the sphere, but it really gave us a nice, complete, you know, story to experience within this first episode so I'm, I'm excited to see where we're going to catapult off from there but again really emotionally invigorating the first episode I wonder if they're going to be able to capture that going you know you know going forward with the rest of the episodes you know episode two and on from there uh it, it looked like a lot more greenery in the preview for the second episode you know it looks like maybe the sphere who's now the boy it looks like they do end up moving forward to the to the uh you know the the lush greenery greenland whatever that that the boy wanted to get to and it, you know maybe the sphere doesn't need any nourishment any eating or anything like that you know is the sphere immortal i think i i think that it's implied that the sphere is immortal so you know it doesn't seem like it would have an issue getting you know reaching this next area so uh i, I want to get into it guys enough of the speculation we are of course live on twitch guys so come join us because we have a fantastic time watching these episodes together of course anime saturdays is our big streaming day but come through for uh you know the other episodes scattered about the week too like to your eternity and if you don't know when we go live that means you're not in the discord if you're not in the Discord, you're not getting these pings and these notifications when we go live and all that good stuff. So come join the Discord. It's a great place for announcements, discussion, uh, you know, everything like that, all that good stuff. So come join again. But if you're watching over on YouTube, remember to drop a sub to the YouTube channel and to uh, check the link in the description for the Patreon. Because the Patreon is a great way to support me, guys. Thank you so much for the love, for the support, and for watching. Let's get into this two-year eternity, episode two. Let's like this. So it gathered knowledge and, you know, it could replicate that. So I wonder how much it's going to take for the sphere, this it, to be able to talk. Or un un unless, unless he's going to be able to talk right away now that he's the boy. Holy moly, wait, 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 the body died. It regenerates. It died six times and regenerated every time? Five whole days. Now, I didn't think it would, you know, I figured it was immortal, but I didn't think it would be regenerating. And it's unique how it regenerates the form that it currently took. So it regenerated the body. Pain promotes growth. It's getting stronger. Wow. Look how primitive and, and, and um, you know, foreign it looks in the human body. The way it stood up there and threw its head back. The way it's walking with the the, the, the the hunched over posture. Really small details that really make this scene something else. And the OST! Wow, that is really good. Oh, the bear! Oh my goodness! Goodness gracious, you'd think we're in re-zero with all these deaths, huh? <laughs> oh... Pink blood, Utada Hikaru. <laughs> this might be the only one that could compete with Bishonen's opening for opening of the season, to be honest. And it's just because of... Well, actually, I guess I have to see the visuals, but Pink Blood is so good. Now, if you guys if you guys like the song here, and you don't know, you gotta, you gotta listen to the Kingdom Hearts openings. Oh! We got a good little animation there. The, all, the, a lot of teases in the opening. A lot of events, I guess, coming up, probably. It, it just, it looks so unique, so diverse, this opening. I'm very excited. This is going to be a whole adventure, guys. Oh, that's the best part. Wow, there is so much in this opening. This is like a hype reel, honestly. Whoa, were those the forms it takes? I kind of want to go back. That might be spoilers, though. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pause on it. I did see a couple familiar faces. I'm not gonna pause on it. That's for sure. That's for sure. Spoilers though. The way that the or because the way that the or the the sphere then turns into the rock, the wolf, and then it continues going from there. It's 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 easy to make that connection. <laughs> the, the the way there's like a stain around the mouth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, again, I have to say it, the OST. It's themed so well. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm there. It's really pulling me into the world. March. <laughs> she's so excited. No, is she gonna, she's not going to bite. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, if she bites them. <laughs> Perona in March, okay. Oh, goodness. That has to be like the first time I've ever seen breastfeeding in anime. Hmm. Interesting. Does that mean that the ink on the face signals them being a child? The coming of age ceremony or something like that? You know, when they become an adult in the village? Maybe it's when they take the ink away. I, I, it could be a little context clue, I suppose. <laughs> a little comedic element with the sound effects there. Uh, so Perona, Perona, right? I think I got the. I think I remember that right. She's trying to become a fighter with the, the with the men of the village. Mulan vibes. Or a hunter, rather, not a, not not a fighter. I'd say a hunter. I figured that, that that noise was going to be an alarm going off. Oh, wait, maybe I was right. Look, these these people, do, they, they don't look like they're from the village. Uh oh, something with the kid. An untarnished girl to offer to Oniguma. That's why Perona was running away with the march. That's the markings of the ink. The untarnished girls. Oh, those nose hairs, guys. <laughs> Everyone seems to be so happy. It sounds like they were sacrificing her or killing her, though. Oh, the parents. I was going to say, the parents were very... They, they looked very happy. <laughs> March straight up just says, I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fight. I like the passion in her. Oh, it's kind of sad at the same time, though. She does have a she does have an air of maturity to her, though. You know, at least it it seems like. Ah, <laughs> oh, the baby. Oh, so that's their child too. See, that's what I'm saying. She has an air of maturity around her. The way that she smiles and look, she's smiling and waving away. Didn't seem like there were any tears coming down her face. Interesting, though, that the Oni, Oniguma is assumed to descend upon the mountain. It's going to be interesting if we see that. Because nobody's actually, you know, it doesn't seem like they're actually going to kill March. But leave her up there to be, you know, eaten, sacrificed. To this god, huh? What is that? Oh, Perona, the the the, the poorly shot arrow. Maybe it was was the was the 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 bird a signal? The feather? Uh oh, is she okay? Is March okay? Oh, okay. Whew. My goodness, I thought that she, you know. I thought she took a fatal tumble there. Look to the ink washing away on her face. Almost as if it's indicating that she's become tarnished now. Tarnished. Oh my gosh! She legitimately picked up the eye of the boy! Which was out because I guess he died here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is from when the bear mauled him. Oh, and she's seeing him regenerate right in front of her eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, the way the flesh and, and 
it's wrapping around the bones and the skin. Everything's regenerating. Wow, they animated this so well. I was wondering, how were the boy and March going to meet? <laughs> I wonder, is the sphere going to speak? <laughs> they really got scared of the boy. Well, the boy of the sphere. Meanwhile, March is so interested. <laughs> you figure she'd be a little bit more afraid like the grown-ups. <laughs> she even knows it. Immortal. Wow. Very perceptive. Like I said, there's an air of maturity around March here. Now, this is the first time I think that the, that the sphere is around... Exactly. Uh, around another human... You know, to converse with them. Because if you remember, you know, once the boy died, he takes the boy's form on and he's been traveling ever since. I don't think he's run into any humans. Oh, this, <laughs> the spear. He's eating it. Oh, this is cool. He's still got those wolf tendencies in him. <laughs> and March is becoming his teacher. <laughs> the slap. <laughs> Wow, so the show, we're really going to be seeing the, we're going to be seeing the growth and the evolution of this sphere, you know, what it means to become human. <laughs> March was really trying to, did he eat? I would just sit up in the tree and eat him, March. Look, he's even breathing heavy like a dog. <laughs> Mar I think she's having fun with him now. Wow, still drooling. That's how hungry he must have been. The eyes, the ch the changing of the eye color. What does that symbolize? Wow. Interesting, guys. This is so interesting. This is really cool. I really like this. Now the eyes changing though. What is that? Maybe that's. Oh, that's so cute. She's just really chowing down, enjoying that piece of fruit. I'm trying to think. Maybe the eyes, you know, sense or or, or indicate a shift in personality, guys. You know, like from his prior forms. Maybe. You know, I'm thinking like maybe he became like a rock, but it it doesn't make too much sense. Oh, gosh. The child getting devoured. The sacrifice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She feels the guilt. She feels the guilt because her, you know, her running away, her not behaving, like she said, it's going to end up causing another victim. <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> Wants more fruit, that's why. <laughs> it's like he's got like a bottomless pit. Oh, she en she enjoys that 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 mother relationship with with him. You know, think back to the beginning of the episode when she's playing with the dolls. It's almost as if she has like a lifelike doll now. Ending time, guys. I really liked how when that beat dropped, the flower broke apart. The helmet of a character we see in the opening, right? Ooh, I like that CG hand into the sphere. The wolf, a wolf, an owl. Hmm. Wow, it really looks good, though. I'll tell you what, it is a visual masterpiece. Those clouds look fantastic. Okay, a faceless figure, the changing eyes. The sacrifice? Ladies and gentlemen of the Kadasuno family, that was episode two of To Your Eternity. Um, and a really, really, really great episode. Again, this one might even be better than the first one. You know, the first one really told a, an emotional tale. Uh, it was emotionally invigorating, but this one had so much to it, too. Just breaking it down, 
you know, scene by scene. It was really fantastic, and I really like how the show, it seems to be morphing into, you know, this growth that the sphere is going to be taking to become a human, you know? Uh, uh, the, the, the different emotions, the, the, the different people that... that you know, it meets along the way and learning what it means to be a human. It's, an, it's almost an examination of, of, you know, humans. Really, really cool so far. And I really like the story of March. You know, it's nice that we're getting a little, seems to be what what, what seems to be a two-parter two, episode, a two -parter episode. I did not watch the preview. You know, I, I, I hear, uh, you know, got some warnings that potential spoilers for the next episode. It's potential heavy spoilers, you know, in the preview. So we didn't watch that if, you, if you're wondering. Um... But again, you know, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a, a, a two-parter, at least March's story. I wonder how it is going to end. You know, uh, going into this, I, I was feeling the one episode length. You know, I, I was feeling uh, that this was going to be another one episode story. So when we hadn't seen the boy or the sphere up until the end of the episode, I was like, okay, you know, if if the boy indeed or if the sphere indeed takes on the form of March going forward, uh, you know, where is this connection? But it, it again, you know, it looks to be, of course, more than one episode, which is good. You know, how will this uh, continue forward? Will, will are we going to stick with March for a little bit? I, I don't know. These are some unanswered questions that I do have going forward. Because again, in the opening and the ending, it seems like, you know, the thing, the like March, the the Onigum, I believe this sacrifice. It seems like these the, this these themes were very present in the opening and the ending so maybe we we stick around here for a little bit i don't know but regardless guys really enjoying it again very interesting very intriguing um it's just really great seeing this growth and then everything is just directed so fantastically the osts are hitting um really fantastic and again a shout out to utara hikaru and pink blood for the opening because it, uh, it really is fantastic i love it love to your eternity it's making the beginning of the week's fantastic on mondays guys we are of course live on twitch come join us for the live streams right when the episode goes live you want to be here watching live uh thank you to everybody in the chat for joining us and if you don't know when we go live that means you're not in the discord so join the discord and get those notifications get those pings when we go live it is a great time as well for a uh, good discussion so join the discord if you're watching on youtube though drop a sub to the channel and check the link in the description for the patreon because that is a great way to support me and the content that i do and it's a great way to access these uh full uncut reactions uh not on youtube and not on the live stream if you missed that so check that out guys but thank you so much for the love for the support and for watching really cannot wait to see you in the next one